Welcome to my channel. I'm Zhang Jingxu. Let's look at the problem 31 at chapter 8. Chapter 8 is about the conservation of energy. So we look at this very familiar model. And then this is very typical problems. We can see a person is on this slope. This angle is given theta. And then this uh, length of the surface is L. And also the coefficient of friction is also given. Mu k is given. Ask you the speed at the zero, at the base of this slope, right there. So we can see, uh, if we want to do that, do the problems, we must consider the conservation of energy. Conservation of energy, we can see, we need to look at the initial position. For initial position, we see, because it says the person start from stationary, V1 is zero. As position y1 is L, sine theta agree because this surface is L and L and this this side L sine theta zero. So y1 is L sine theta. Then at the final position we have v2, this is we want to know, and y2 is zero. And then during this process we see which force do the work? Gravity and uh, friction, right? Because we must consider the friction. The coefficient of friction is given. So that looks like we need to find the friction force first. And then the distance it moved is L that is given. So we look at the friction. So there we need to project the gravity at two components, mg cosine theta and mg sine theta. In this way, we can find at the vertical direction, vertical direction to the slope, to the surface. The Fn minus mg cosine theta equals zero. The force is balanced. Therefore, we can get the friction is mu k mn. That is mu k mg cosine theta. See, in this time, the friction we find. So we can consider the conservation of energy. Initial energy equals the final energy. So initial kinetic energy plus the potential energy equals the final um, kinetic energy plus potential energy. And uh, this one, thermal energy, right? This is comes from the friction. So we must come to friction. This work did by the friction. For friction force times L, and then we input the known quantities. V1 is 0, Y2 is 0, and this is mu k mg cosine theta 0. Therefore, we can solve the problems, and we solve this equation, and get V2 equals square 2 gl uh, sine theta minus mu k cosine theta. You, you can see inside, g is constant, L is given, mu k is given. So very easily, you can find that V2 is 25 meter per second. The next one asks you find if the slope is level at the foot of this uh, slope and has the same coefficient of friction, how far will this person travel along the level? So still, we consider this is V2, right? This is V2. And this person keep moving, keep moving. And then on the horizontal, finally, it stops at zero. We need to find the distance it covered from zero to zero. So we call it L3, agree? So at the V2, we see the velocity is V justified at zero. V2 is V get it zero. And as a position, Y2 is zero, agree? And finally, this person stops at zero. So V3 is zero and Y3 is zero. So in this process, still the force, uh, the energy is conserved. So initial energy, one half mv2 squared kinetic energy plus potential energy equals the final kinetic energy plus the potential energy and also thermal energy. And this one, this fraction is mu k mg cosine theta zero. First, so we input it inside. And then we input all the known quantities. We can find this L3 is in this equation. It is just 370 meter. Sorry, meter. Um, that's all. Thank you.